Fox thought it was going to be a smooth transition, not exclamation point. Pollster Frank Luntz agrees that Obama is going out of his way to get in Donald Trump's way, and that is breaking with tradition. Frank, good to see you. I mean, I, I can't remember any kind of transition quite like this one. Have we ever seen anything this disagreeable? Well, the worst transition, you have to go back to 1932. In the midst of the Great Depression, Herbert Hoover was not happy that he lost in the landslide and was very uncooperative with incoming mm. President Franklin D. Roosevelt. And in fact, there's a wonderful cartoon of Her Hoover looking absolutely sullen as FDR rode from the Capitol to the White House in sheer joy about taking over the country. Probably the most difficult we've had in the last 50 years would be the Jimmy Carter to Ronald Reagan transition. Uh, again, it was a time of hostage taking, uh, mm -hmm. difficult economic circumstances, and Reagan's philosophy was quite different than, than uh, Jimmy Carter's. But the key point here is that this is not really about making it difficult on Donald Trump. If Trump did this great tour of the country, and they called it a victory tour or a thank you tour, Obama seems to be doing a, and I'm, I've been trying to figure out the right language so I don't get fined by the, by the FCC, a <laughs> FU tour. I, I, I guess that's the best way to put it. Okay. In that he is so critical. I, I think we'll all be okay with that. <laughs> I think so. He's been but so that, that sort of, that, that captures it in your view, huh? Yes, what he has said about Hillary Clinton and her campaign and drawing that contrast, what he has done to uh, Israel and to Benjamin Netanyahu, that there are people that he has had political difficulties with, and those, and by the way, Republican members of the House and Senate, the people who he's disagreed with over the last eight years, he's gone to great pains to draw a contrast between the things that he says and the things that they have done in a way that makes me think he's trying to settle scores before he leaves. And that's not presidential, particularly for someone like Barack Obama, who is such a great communicator. I would have expected more from him. Not presidential. You're right. What effect does it have, do you think, on the nation, a nation that, frankly, Frank, is already very divided? It has no effect because we are are divided. The, the people who love Barack Obama will be offended by what I just said. The people who dislike him intensely will think I haven't gone far enough. There's no way that you can satisfy anyone at this point. And all that we are looking for, and this for me will be my last appearance on Fox in 2016, all that we are looking for is <laughs> someone who can actually bridge that divide, bring people together. And my hope going forward is that we will speak a little bit less and listen a little bit more, that sure. we will answer less questions and ask more questions. I'm with you on that one for sure. You know, one thing that seems to have caught Donald Trump's eye was President Obama's statement that had he run again, had he been permitted to run for a third term, he would have won. Could he have? And uh, regardless of that, was that really the kind of thing you want to say? It is definitely, it's not the thing that you want to say. I don't believe, based on how Americans feel about the country, only 30% think the country's headed in the right direction. It's very hard to win an election when pessimism is that high. That most people feel, 78% feel that we are weaker today, that the world is a more dangerous place today than it was, that they feel less secure today. How do you win an election when three out of four voters think that your foreign policy has essentially failed? It's a, it's a hubris, and I understand why he did it, because he doesn't want to be held responsible for Hillary Clinton's loss. But by the same token, when you ask questions about the condition of America today versus eight years ago, there are a lot of those questions that the public says, no, not only are we not better off, I'm more afraid, I'm more anxious, I'm more fearful of the future, and Trump's election has begun to turn that around. Yeah, yeah, we saw it in the December consumer confidence numbers. Thank you so much, Frank. It's exactly. good to see you. And I feel honored. Last appearance of 2016.